Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Shook. Um, been playing DFS, making DFS videos, looking to help you guys in the prop market. So before we get into the picks, let's just take a look at how we did last night in the video and how I did all my full props. So unfortunately in the video, we had two hooks and Gobert shot four of seven. Four, that's unheard of. For Gobert, McBride had, I think it was like 10 potential assists in that game. Everyone just clanked him. Um, Dante hit. And then, yeah, the two hooks, just brutal. Um, Gobert has never shot four of seven, like ever, ever. And then McBride, the amount of potentials he had was just absolutely wild. Um, and then my main picks after the video, I took Brooke Lopez first half PRA, Denny first half PRA, D'Lo points, those all hit. And then we took uh, Dante points on books, McBride assists on books, and then Luka Doncic assists on books. We went two and one on books, profitable on books. And then the main today, today's picks, we swept the board. McBride fantasy score, RJ Barrett first half PRA, Keegan PRA, Champagne fantasy score, Wiggins fantasy score, they all hit. Um, so it was a great day. <clears throat> all right, let's get into the picks. As always, if you're looking for more DFS content, prize picks content, all that good jazz, I will have my Discord link down below. And if you ever need to see what I'm playing, you can just go to Picket. You can look at my Picket. It's called Shook1992. And you can just copy what I'm taking on Sportsbooks there. So if you if you want to ever take stuff, go to my Picket. You can just follow me. You can see my results every day. You can see I'm a winning player. I have a, like a 10% ROI on sportsbooks. So um, yeah, definitely important there. But let's get into picks. We're going to be taking two Halliburton props. And we're going to be taking his three-pointers made. And we're also going to be taking his points. Now, I want you guys to mix and match both of these. I'm going to fly through these because I feel like some of these picks are going to get ripped off the board. So I'm going to make this video quick. First off, good matchup here for Brooklyn. They are giving up the 10th uh, most points to opposing point guards, and they are giving the second most points to three point pointers made to opposing point guards as well. Halliburton also, uh, Miles Turner's questionable. If he is out, that's going to be a significant bump to Halliburton as well. These props are good with Miles Turner in, but if Miles Turner is out, that is going to help his case even more. Um, so you have a really good matchup. These are juiced on the over. I believe uh, Halliburton points is actually juiced on the under. I am going to go with the over here on this one, but his three-pointers made is juiced on the over. I know that for a fact. Um, phenomenal matchup for his three-pointers. Good matchup for his points. Um, and then we have the potential of Miles Turner being out, which could help him a ton as well. Next pick we're going to be going to is DeJounte Murray. We're going to be taking his points at 24 and a half. We have another phenomenal matchup here for DeJounte Murray. He's actually averaging over this line ever since Trey Young went down. Now, we do have Jalen Johnson back, but he did come off the bench last game. If he starts, I'm not really too concerned about it, but DeJounte Murray, um, his usage rate right now is absolutely absurd. He is going to chuck the ball when he's out there in competitive games. He's playing over 40 minutes. Even in blowouts, he's reaching over 30 minutes. You don't have to be too concerned with that. Um, as you can see, you last five rows are going to love his lines. Um, I feel like the line is just a point too low, in my opinion. Maybe maybe half a point. I believe he should be like 25, 25 and a half. Um, both teams play very, very fast. They don't play a ton of defense. This game should be played at an extremely, extremely fast pace. So um, for all those reasons, yep. Jante Murray over 24 and a half points. Juice on the over as well. And we're going to go into a first half prop here. And this is one um, where... I like quite a bit, and that's Anthony Davis' first half points at 12 and a half. You can take his PRA if you want to. Don't mind that. Um, but Anthony Davis is going up against the depleted, possibly, Washington Wizards. This is the best matchup you could possibly get for any big going up against the Washington Wizards. They are god-awful at giving up points to opposing centers. Pretty much any category, rebounding points, just pretty much absolutely anything. It's just going to be a phenomenal matchup for Anthony Davis. We are taking his first half points or PRA just solely because of the blowout risk in this game. The Wizards are god, god awful. They could potentially be without Kyle Kuzma, Ty Jones, Marvin Bagley, Rashawn Holmes. AD could possibly be going up against Tristan Vucevic, right? Um, so it, it could potentially just be a, not a phenomenal matchup, just an absolute nut matchup. So um, yeah, obviously AD, good scorer, him, LeBron, their go-to guys. Um <clears throat> Averaging 24, 25 points on the season. So you're getting a nice discount here as well. Oh, kind of math, math that adds to uh, 25, but you get the point. Um, but 
Yeah, if you want to take PRA, you want to take points. I think both are equally as good. I, I don't really have a lean on which one I like. Well, maybe slightly points, but I think both are great with the matchup. Just phenomenal, phenomenal spot here for Anthony Davis. Um, and the first half line is definitely going to be the right way to go about this. So hopefully we have a good night. Hopefully, uh, yeah, everything goes well. And I will talk to you all in the... Oh, another prop. I, I haven't, I'm not decided on if I'm taking it or not. Um, but I do like band props. Ban PRA. I do like ban props. Ban pretty much all his props are good. Rebounds and assists. PRA. I think are the two best lines. I'm not decided on I'm taking if I'm taking it or not, but it's it's your guys' money. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, I do like the props, but I don't know if I like them enough to where I'm taking them yet. We will see. But I'll just throw this out there. It's up to you guys. It's your guys' money, etc. All right, those are gonna be four picks. Hope you guys have a great night. I'll talk to y'all in the next video.